I was born in Fortune Harbor, June 29th, 1918. I was a peace baby. That's what they call children who are born, uh, you know, after the end of the war or toward the end of the war, peace babies. This was the little harbor that I was born in. It's a beautiful harbor, but I was only there for about a year, and then I came into St. John's. My aunt, who didn't have a child and was wanting to adopt and wanted to take one of her sister's children so that it would be closer to her. So that's how I happened to come into St. John's. I was lucky enough to have parents who put me through music in the school and that was that was a big thing. I learned to play early and that was part of my life. When I came back from uh, university, the first job I had was in the park. I was there to teach the children singing, and it was a, a wonderful thing for me because I could teach them to sing, and, and we had music all the time. And that's where I met my husband. He loved to drive, and uh, every excursion meant a little farther ahead so that we really traversed the whole of Newfoundland. We enjoyed it. Perhaps other people wouldn't have thought we were cracked because we were going out for the crowd of children and sleeping in a tent sometimes. But uh, we enjoyed it because it was keeping the family together. I had seven children and loved every one of them, and I still love them. I think life, uh, as I found it, was from day to day. And you live a life as cleanly and as healthily as you possibly can. That's how you succeed in living the long life that I'm living. I really can't realize that I am a hundred years. It's impossible. <laughs>